Okay, so for this tutorial we're going to split the database. The purpose of splitting the database is it gives you a lot more user-friendly ability. Uh, it gives you the ability to have multiple users and you don't have to worry about multiple users having access to the back-end information. It gives you more control over the back-end information and also helps control and manage the size of the database. So what we have here is a basic database nothing special uh, three basic tables and a few forms and what we're first going to start off doing is by going to database tools access database and then you're going to select split database and once you save into whatever file you save in notice it says BE on the back of your file it's going to create a back end of the same file so once you select OK you'll notice that the icons next to your tables show a different icon. These are showing that you are connected to an external data source. All of your information is still in those tables. We don't have any information in these tables but your forms are still there. So currently we're looking at the front end of the database. All forms, queries, and reports are stored on the front end of the database. If we go to the back end of the database which is saved in the same folder we will see that the tables are displayed on the back end. The tables look the same as they do on the front end. It's just that's where the connection's made. And now that it's open, you can see that the tables show the same way they did on the front end. But you notice the icons are the original icons because these are the original tables. And if we open up the front end, everything looks the same.